light color. You want to use the green. Okay. Well, we don't have to put one on head time. Just smear it around the inside of the nose and under the eyes. Yeah. The idea there is the dark spot that would show up dark would come out lighter when you finish. So light. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Just put it on like that. You cover one spot, you don't have to go back over. Do the other side, the side of the nose and the bridge of the nose. <coughs> If you don't mind me tossing this out something while you're doing it, I read, I've, I've over the years I've really enjoyed reading uh, Colonel Jeff Cooper's writings. And one of the things that he wrote about, he was actually in the field one time with a military crew, and they were testing the theory and the ideas of camo and, and, and concealment face. And he said, you know, the one thing they noticed after everybody tried all their different versions of face paint, then they started coming, calling to them towards, towards the observers to the field. He said, you know, what we found out real quick was, all of the face paint worked to some degree. The guys we picked up were the guys who didn't have anything covering their hands. Because they're coming like this, and you see the white knuckles just coming through the woods. Said so putting on a pair of light mesh gloves did all the difference in the world. You, know, you don't think about it. Even hunting, you think about your face, and you don't think about your hands. But there's that white beacon that's out there. You don't get the gun. It's just going to be wet. Yeah. Yeah. I had a target out there earlier. Okay. Arab all set up with all his gear and everything, mm -hmm. and a lot of it is black. I don't like a black target, but right. okay. that's the reality. Now yeah. high spots. You got high spots. And like white scarf really on, sticking out there. It was all black. Mm -hmm. Rifle, you almost couldn't arm. make it out. It was all black. Right. Hand. And you know, all I can see with his hands, hands so I know exactly where the rifle yeah. was. And, and, and you know, if, they, if he's coming at you and the hands are here holding the rifle, well, gee, where's your target point between the hands? <laughs> you know. I have a pair of camouflage gloves. Uh -huh. And I cut yep. the first knuckle, so the yep. fingertips like that. You just slip them on, and that's what I do for hunting. Because yep. I can't fumble with things with the glove on my yep. fingers, but yep. you cut the fingertips out. Then you can, even if it's cold, you keep your fingers warm and still right. have the dexterity with it. Yep. <laughs> Did David go? I can't see him. There you go. You brought the right stuff. This is the removable. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or, or did I bring the temporary tattoo that lasts for a week? Until you wash it off. Be, I'm not sure. Good work out back in here. Cheap Way in the back to the right, there's a uh, sink back there. Right. Uh, now, you would do this with the ears, but we're not going to do the ears. Also, the, the eyelids. Yeah, you want to we're, we're not going to do the eyes. No, that's... Okay, when you got that, now you can always take this part of your hand and just take that and rub it down this way. See? How it blends in there? Yeah. I don't know, I, that gives you... You only have to do it once, you don't have to keep going over it. Quick, just when you just go like that. that, you don't have to go this way and smooth it out like that. That's what blends it in. Do the same thing with the chin. Use your hand, just rub across it. Hold the stable. And they do this very quickly. Or is he 19 now? Quentin is 14. Okay, you want to do this? Oh, I'm sorry. I got, I got, I got to mix up again. A little bit. Yeah. See how Quentin's the white boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Quentin's the black shirt. Right. He's 14. Okay. David's 19. Yeah. Just turn 19, actually. The other side. So now, now the rest, all you have to do is just take your hands and wipe your face. It blends it all in. Okay. Now, you take your uh, rouge. You can use your dirty fingers. You don't have to dirty it all. Rouge. Now put it right in between the two colors. One stroke on each, you know, in between all the colors. Now, when they do that these days, they'll take the black, yeah. smear the face with it, 
Mm -hmm. To do the same thing with the green, get it on the fingers and just go right. They do it so darn fast, it's amazing. Yeah. It, it takes like 15 seconds to do one face. Because he's your buddy, you work with him, he's in the same squad, you know the guy's face, and they go. Yeah. And we, we'd have the black and the reddish rouge and the green all over the face, but we're just doing the central high and low spot. Okay, you got the rouge in on all the separated spots. Okay. Right. That's the general idea right there. And the rouge would go in between the black and green. Mm -hmm. Kind of melds it all in. Yeah. Mike? Yes, sir. You got him? Yeah. <laughs> He's taking this for the FBI. No. Yeah. No, that's uh, that's you know when we were go when we went to the uh, we got a freedom summit. Biggest concern of Dave was it had FEMA written on the side of it. We wouldn't even go get on that bus. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Uh, later on, you learn how to blend the colors a little better. Yeah. But that's pretty good for the first time. Yeah, it is. Pretty darn good. Yeah. You're all set. I don't know if the, I didn't notice if the, see if there's a mirror in the room back there you can look at this stuff. If there's a mirror in that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Take a look. It don't look bad from here, outside of that neck. <laughs> and that forehead. <laughs> There's a target, you can see it, yeah. Come on. Any man like the moon shining on me, I'll reflect the sweat off of the moon. <laughs> they found you. They found you.